Hello, welcome to my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. I'm just trying to do a little intro to each of the uh, FINRA series exams and NASA series exams so you know what the intellectual challenge is. It always surprises me how many people don't print this PDF. You can get this at the NASA website. You should have it with you or during your study effort. So you can do an intellectual inventory as you're studying and say, yes, I intellectually own each and every one of these items. Now, at some future time, I will explicate this. I will go through it and actually, you know, uh, add to what you're getting tested on. For example, I'll tell you that an investment advisor is an entity. Let me just get my tool here that gives investment advice, tells people it's in the business of giving investment advice and uh, wants compensation, a fee for that. You know, we'll go over all that kind of stuff in a f future video lecture. There's already a lot of content that I have for you in the uh, YouTube channel. But as I said, I want to kind of put as a, a cover to the playlist for the various NASA series exams, uh, what is the exam itself? So in this exam, uh, the challenge here is you're going to get 60 performance opportunities. That's what I call test questions. And you get to get a 43 of those 60, correct? There's not, uh, um, you know, not a lot of performance opportunities. I mean, you know, if you're taking an exam with a larger number of questions, you have much lo longer to do that. You have 75 minutes to get this done. You shouldn't run out of, you know, right answer uh, time. You might run out of right answers, but you shouldn't run out of time. Uh, as you see here, let's just go through these uh, 60 performance opportunities and how they break down. So again, you have 75 minutes, you gotta get 43 questions correct. And uh, you know, at some point I'll explicate this uh, two page test specification for you. But as I mentioned, this is just a little intro to the exam itself. And uh, you see what, let me get my video picture of myself out of the way here. And as you can see here in the uh, first thing, we have three questions on what is a re registered investment advisor and do they register with the state or do they register with the feds? Then we have three questions about what is an investment advisor rep? You know, somebody who actually represents the investment advisory firm. Nine questions on broker dealers and broker dealer agent supervision. You know, I'd have a, a great little uh, lecture on the Uniform Securities Act that I think is target rich in helping you in this particular area of the exam. Uh, regulation of it broker dealers, that's where all the performance opportunities are, right? Regulate re Regulation of broker dealers. Now, when I'm teaching the class and lecture, a lot of times, instead of saying regulation, I like to, use, like to use the word registration. Registration. The regulation of broker dealers, only three questions on securities, regulation or registration of securities and issuers, six questions on remedies. And then please note, 12 questions on, you know, don't lie, cheat, and steal, you know, the disclosures you make to the clients, and 15 questions, as I mentioned, on that uh, ethical don't lie, cheat, or steal stuff. So that's how it breaks down on the actual exam. So again, my name is Dean Tenney. I hope to see you uh, active in our YouTube channel as it relates to taking your 63 exam. If you have any questions about the exam itself, or as I promised you, a future explication of this, uh, I have a pretty damn good lecture already up on the Uniform Securities Act that I think covers most of this already, but at some future date, I'll circle back and I'll actually explicate this thing for you and talk about each of these issues. All right, thank you. Oh, oh, wrong sound effect, apologize. <laughs>